Welcome back to Closing Bell on the 28th of January on a Thursday. It's one of this week, I wish it was a Friday, the market would close and let me rest. It's been crazy. I'm sure you felt the stress. Everybody's so tired. Good opportunities, you know, brokers broke down. But today, I want to run as much and cover as much as possible on what's happened over the week with four key points. Okay, on the fourth one, you have to stay because I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some buy or not buy with some element of buy trigger on three very popular stocks that drop today okay so the first one i want to speak about is the volatility is the vix why the volatility so the vix came and before i was all the way to 37 thinking a major sell-off is coming after the crazy sell-off on the wednesday and then when the market opened it went down all the way to 30. it looks like it's recovering okay it looks like it's recovering things are back to normal despite of the great earnings but the likes of apple tesla microsoft facebook but volatility will still be here. I don't believe that it's all settled down. But why is the volatility here? Why is it going crazy? Is it because of AMC and GameStop? No, no, no. Those companies are really small, minute. It doesn't disrupt, even though the news is talking about it. The volatility is here because I think institution investors and hedge fund managers are trying to force for a correction. When I say correction, I'm talking about 10 to 20% healthy profit taking. Everybody, you know, all the big boys are all trying to really, let's go get, get, us, get us done. But you know, now retail investors like us on Trading212, on Robinhood, you know, we've got a long, strong resistance line. Every time it drops, we buy. We're keeping the resistance line really strong. So they sort of fail this week, but they will still come back next week and the week after. I think between now to March, they're trying to come in and jump in with the likes of COVID or FMOMC or any silly negative sentiment reason trying to pull the market down. So for you and me, retail investors, be careful. If there's profit to take, take some healthy profit off the table. Make sure you have cash on the sideline. Manage the risk. Don't get FOMO. Don't get emotionally dragged in. Okay, that's my advice. And hopefully uh, it will play well for you. Okay, so the second thing I want to report is about AMC and GameStop saga. Okay, it's been exciting. It's been so dramatic. Okay, it's better than watching Game of Thrones in the last two days. So the drama is coming because of all the short squeeze. And the drama that's added today is the fact that Robin Hood uh, and all the other interactive brokers are all banning folks, option trading, also buying these small cap stocks. And this is trying to shut our mouth and a lot of people are speaking up on Twitter. So I personally, I bought AMC at 200 bucks. I closed it because of this uncertainty that we cannot buy. So I've closed it off. I just want to close the chapter and move on. But this is disrupting Robin Hood just now. Remember, Robin Hood wants to go IPO this year, trying to be one of the biggest IPO stock again. But now Robin Hood is on its credit line, meaning that many people are withdrawing the money. And it's not that they can't pay fast enough. And now they're taking money from the bank to pay out all these millions and millions of dollars of retail investors, investors like you and me, mom and pop, uh, brother and sister type investors, they're all retracting, they're going elsewhere. Okay, where they're gonna go, I don't know, but a lot of people are angry. Okay, so that's it. And the third one I wanna share is I bought Sony stocks today. Yes, I bought Sony stocks, around about 97 today. Why? Because a few reasons. 50 day moving average on this chart here, you can see they're breaking it. And the fact that people are forgetting this PlayStation 5, there's cameras that came out, and lots of YouTubers have surfaced, lots of content creators have surfaced, the sales of TV, cameras, PlayStation games have been remarkable. Okay, Q3 broke the, the EPS by three times, and I think Q4 will do the same. So I don't know why people are selling off. I think there's a hidden opportunity in Sony because everybody's busy with Tesla, Apple, Facebook, but Sony, Pose a great opportunity to buy. So I bought in on eThrow and also my personal account. Not much, I'm slowly buying. If they start falling uh, uh, longer, I'll buy. And why not? Great company. It's no difference from Microsoft, Facebook, Amazon, yeah? Sony is still the Sony. Okay, so number four, now, 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 number four. Buy or not buy, three popular stocks that people have been asking, now I want to deliver. Okay, Palantir, Vuzi, and Tattoo Chef. Okay, let me start. Palantir, on the chart here, Palantir is 50x multiple, overpriced, it's crazy. I don't even bother doing grams and trains calculation on that. It's overpriced, okay? It's met its resistance, it's creeping up, great demo day, okay? And also the contract Rio Tinto is positive, really positive, still a business to business type of revenue. It's not trying to sell any software to me or you. 
it still could fall to 30 because there's gaps to fill at 30. So they will start falling at 30 until we see some significant revenue growth, okay? We all like to buy great potential company, but end of the day, we need to see data. Folks are waiting for data. So don't get FOMO in and buy too early. This company is still uh, 10 years old, but in terms of IP, it's still young. There's still a lot to see from Palantir. So be patient. If you missed the word, missed the word, it's okay. But buy at the right price, okay? Okay, the next one, Vuzi. I own Vuzi. I bought lots of Vuzi when it was eight, nine, 9, 10, and now I'm holding. It's gone up to 15, met its resistance, drop back down to 12. 12, again, filling the gap at 12. You might be steady at 12 until we see more details. Good news is CES, it came out well. Lots of medical sector. Uh, doctors are using it in the medical sector. Uh, Plant Power uh, bought into the contract about two months, uh, about six weeks ago. So that's doing well. Hopefully we see more contracts being signed. They could sell it more. And now we want to wait for the earnings to see real revenue. So now Tattoo Chef, the equivalent of Beyond Meat. Okay, Tattoo Chef has gone really high, came back down, met its resistance <clears throat> at 25, now dropping. So I can see a bit of pump and dump and trying to recover and i think it's trying to hover it's not a wedge i don't see a wedge i don't see a head and shoulder i think it's trying to find its profile because it went up too quick it's trying to fill the gaps again so i see it dropping down to potentially 23 bucks and potentially 22 bucks and think about it there's not much data to be seen on um on tattoo chef and 65% uh, expanded range of the products. They're still growing, they get social media on. So it's one of those companies that got money invested and now it's time for them to, to start growing, start le leveraging and start distributing, start uh, multiple growth. So give them time, but I think they're still finding the resistance line. They're trying to find a flaw. I like the concept, but it's still uh, we still need to give it time before it starts taking over our lives. So uh, be patient with Tattoo Chef. So, you know, buy on the cheap. I think there's still room for it to drop up to at least 21. I'm not going to give a specific buy trigger, but I just want you all to be careful on what you pay for. Okay, if it does go up, please do take profit until we see real data established, real revenue, then breaking $100 million revenue. So this is me under eight minutes. I just want to cover, I want to say thank you to all of you. And for those of you, have you not joined Telegram? Have you not joined Discord? They're all completely free. Why not? Just download the app. You speak to me with chat and make sure the whole experience of this community gets better that's why i've invested my money to make all this up and running smoothly for everyone okay hopefully to see you tomorrow and to share more contents over tomorrow in the weekend so you know hopefully the vex is not too crazy and i really want to take profits and sell my stocks but let's see wait and see and where we go from here take care see you later bye